Hi everyone, I'm Domingo Freire and if you are watching this video, you are a carpentry addict. Today I will show you how I made this wooden candle holder using my Work Pro Rotary tool. To prepare our piece of wood, we are going to use sandpaper. First we will use a sandpaper of the number 80 and later we can use a sandpaper of the number 120. Use these sanding sponges that are excellent for giving a good finish to small details in the wood. To trace the drawing to the piece of wood, you can use carbon transfer paper. Remember to immobilize the drawing using adhesive tape. I recommend you trace the drawing with a colored pen or crayon to redraw the image. When you go to carve wood, you must use safety equipment to protect your ears, your respiratory tract and your eyes. And of course, you will surely appreciate having good lighting while you work. I'm going to use my WorkPro cordless rotary tool to work on this wood. It is a 12 volt tube with good performance for carving work. This bag allows us to store the tool and its many accessories for working a lot of materials. Here you can see closely the bird that we are going to use to carve the drawing in the wood. And then I'm going to sand it using this other bit. Placing the burr in this tool is very easy. Press this button to immobilize the chalk. Insert the burr, hold the button down and use this key to firmly clamp the bit. To work with this tool, this is the power switch. These LED lights indicate the battery charge level. These two buttons allow us to increase or decrease the speed of spinning of our rotary tool. And these lights indicate the power that we have selected for working. For safety, even if we are working at any speed, after turning off the tool, it always turns on again at the first power. Before we begin, I give you three recommendations. Make the milling tracing towards you. Make the stroke smoothly and work in layers. Do not try to go deeper from the first pass. Hold your tool firmly without covering its ventilation holes.
These router bits are very useful for carving wood. I put a smaller bit in my router to lower the height of the wood around the engraving I just made. I recommend using the router to get a wood flat finish when you're carving it. Now you know that with this kind of router bits we can carve the wood obtaining a flat surface. But when we want to change the shape of the edges, you should use router bits like this. These bits have bearing that help us follow the shape of the piece of wood, carving the edge to change its shape. I'm going to use a router bit with a 45 degree cut. Now we are going to change the bit of my rotary tool to be able to sand all the edges. I'm going to put in this bit which is great for sanding any sharp edges on the wood. To sand wood I always use my rotary tool on its second speed. Using the wood carving bit again, we are going to match the height of the drawing edge with the surface that we carved with the router. Then I suggest you make a small texture by carving lines on the surface that we work with the router. This way we avoid seeing differences between the work carved with the router and our rotary tool. Now I'm going to transform this piece into a candle holder. To place these two candles I have to make two holes in the upper part of this piece of wood. To make these holes I'm going to use my drill in a 3 quarter inch paddle bit because that's the diameter of the candles I'm going to use. I'm going to use masking tape to be able to paint some parts of the front without damaging the side faces of the candle holder. I like to use metallic acrylic paint for these pieces because it covers the surface very well and dries very quickly.
so our wooden candle holder is ready. Remember to click on like, give me a comment, share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.